Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Jeannie Ellis, also known as Scrapbooking Mama. And today I'm going to be sharing a project with you, uh, a process video for using a stamp from Little Blue Button Stamps. Uh, the digital is uh, called Pumpkin Girl and Little Blue Button Stamps are our sponsor for Crafter's Castle for the month of October. So I'm excited to share it with you. She is so cute. Now I did already start in on her. Uh, I did her face and you know the flesh tones. But I'm going to go ahead and color her up. And during that process, I'm going to fast forward that part of it because otherwise it'd take a long time for you to you know watch it. So I'm just going to be coloring her up, and you can watch the process. <music>
Okay, I have her all colored in now, and I think I'm going to just add a little white in here. Maybe. <laughs> there it goes. Okay, so that's about all that I plan on doing for now, unless I see something that I missed. So I'm going to set all these aside. I'll put them up in a little bit because sometimes if I put them away, I decide, I find out I might need that color and then I can't remember what colors I used. So those are set aside now and she's going to be put over there. Now, I've got a few sheets of paper here that are, you know, a little bit different. Um, okay. And they are double-sided, so, well, that one was, but this, these two aren't. So that means I can use either side on this one, and they're in my stash, and I don't know where, uh, what company they are. Uh, because of the fact that I just had them in my stash. Okay, now I was going to make a card, and I thought, you know what, you know, I have a lot of cards, but I don't have a lot of uh, fall decoration, and since she's Pumpkin Girl, I'm going to decorate her with this. I was, You know, I'd already got ready to start the card, but I decided not to do it. <clears throat> so I am, what I'm going to do, is use this glue. I could use any kind of glue on here, but I'm going to use this glue to kind of, I'm going to tear it, and then I'm going to take this piece and tear. Now I may take it and go this direction. In fact, I think I will, because I really like that sunflower piece. So I'm just going to, and I may use this other piece too. I'm just going to randomly tear paper. And you can use whatever direction you want. And I think I'll tear this way too. Because that's going to be on the edge. And let's see. Then I'm going to take this paper and do the same thing. I'm just I'm just tearing. I'm not doing anything specific. There's no rhyme or reason to it. I'm going to put this up here. And let's see, I think I'll take this piece here and do the same thing. Maybe a little like that. And you know, you're going to find that when you do it this way, you're going to hide some of the papers that you had cut out with, you know, trimmed out. But that's just part of it. Now I'm going to take a little more off of this. <laughs> I use Mod Podge, I'll have to get a brush out or something, but if this here opens up, Beacon Glue is good too, but I'm low on it, and I'm having a hard time getting it out with my hands the way they are, so I'm just going to use this. And I do have Mod, have Mod Podge spray to seal it with when I'm done. So I'm going to put all these together and you're going to be watching another process and you won't have to listen to me all the time. You just watch the process that I'm doing.
I have this done as far as this goes. It was just a matter of putting pieces on top of each other, cutting them out with your hands, rather tearing them rather than cutting them out with a trimmer. And then I just put a base uh, mounting base on underneath her and put her on. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and decorate, and then I will show you the end result. But this is what it's, the base of it is now. So I will be back with the results. Okay, I am back with the finished project, and this can tell you what you can do with upcycle to upcycle pro uh, product that you have stashed away, you know, things that you don't know what to do with. And I could easily remove these pieces back here, but I, I didn't. But this is what I did after I tore, you know, you saw that part of it and mounted. I went ahead and took some of this straw or raffia that I got from my Dollar Tree, three of them for a dollar. And I went ahead and used that as part of my decoration. I had a piece of paper that was in a stash that was used as wrapping paper uh, paper and uh, some product that I had bought one time. So I thought, well, you know, I, I like that. That goes good with it. And so I've got that in there. I just layered that down and then the straw raffia on top of that to represent the straw. And I put a bow here with a, uh, oh golly, burlap ribbon. And I left this loose here. I'm, I'll probably go ahead and glue that down. Uh, and then I went ahead and added my flowers down here in the colors that I want. So she's all done. She's ready to be decorated. And by the way, if you have any pieces of glue that uh, are showing, just take your heat gun and have at it. And that helps hide any of your strings that you may have. And uh, so there you go. And I'll take pictures and post it um, at the end of the video so you can see what it looks like standing up. So thank you for watching. Have a great day. Be sure you check out the description box with all the links in it and the link to the Crafter's Castle Challenge blog. And we'll see you there. Blessings to you. Bye for now.